What's up, everybody? A little bit of a late stream today. I had some uh, errands to run. Uh, I had some stuff I had to fill out um, to finish signing up for school. But uh, I'm here, ready to break down this lovely nine-game Friday NBA slate. Um, gonna kind of try to make this a little bit of a short stream just because I know we all got got to get our lineups together so I'm gonna try to break it down kind of as quick as I can um, first thing I want to go over is I just got news that Miles Turner is out now I haven't been able to update my projections yet to bump up Sabonis or anything and I'm also going to see that he's that turn turn is still going to be in here but I at least wanted to get something live and I know you guys follow up on that news and everything so I just wanted to let you know that my algorithms may just be off a little bit on Sabonis and with Turner being in so just uh make sure if you guys like if you guys like uh Turner tonight and you like uh, Sabonis even more now because of Turner being out in that usage bump. Or maybe even Thaddeus Young gets a usage bump with uh, Turner being out. Uh, just stay on top of that. So, uh, first thing I uh, want to go over is the highest over-under of the night is looking like Charlotte, Washington uh, at a 232. The lowest of the night is Memphis and the Clippers. Um, now, the Clippers and Memphis, even though that's a low over on the game, I still may like some pieces to that because we are waiting on Jaron Jackson Jr. news. And that could be big, so you might want to fit some Memphis bigs in if we end up getting that news. Um, so just stay tuned to that. Another guy I also like within that game. There's two of them. I also like DeLon Wright. Um, I read something that Memphis wants to give DeLon Wright a lot of minutes for the rest of the season because he becomes a free agent at the end of the year. And before they invest in him, if they do want to re-sign him, they want to see what they have. Either, either release him if they don't feel that he's going to be any good or maybe re-sign him if they feel he may be an asset to their team so he should see some minutes and DeLon Wright I believe is only 3700 um, I'd have to double check on that but I know he's under four grand now another guy I like is J. Michael Green on the Clippers um, I, I've said this uh, in a, a couple times today J. Michael Green has played two games for the Clippers and has averaged over 20 minutes. Another guy under four grand. I think he's 37 or 3500 um, today. So those are some two guys that you may want to look into, um, especially uh, J. Michael Green. It's uh, he's playing his old team, and that could it's it's not really a revenge thing. I don't really go by the revenge narratives or anything, but there's a few guys I noticed that I do like. Um, just off the top of the bat this morning when I looked and uh, just due to a certain value and uh, everything just uh, Jeff Teague is back and I, th I thought he was just too cheap um, let me see how cheap Teague was I'll try to find him real quick Teague I believe was like 4700 around there We'll, we'll see. We'll get. We'll get to that. Oh, I just think I just passed him. Ah, uh, right here, Jeff Teague. Oh, he's fifty nine hundred. But if you look, the last couple games he that he has played, um, he's re he's reached value at, at that price. And with him being back, um, Ty I know Tyus Jones and Derek Rose. I believe both of them are active. Um, so maybe that does take away from Teague. But I, I still think fifty nine hundred against the Knicks is. That could be just a great value at Teague, especially if he sees over over 25 to 30 minutes tonight. Um, so those are some guys I liked right off the bat this morning. A um, couple other things that I did notice this morning that I did like. 
Um, let me let me just double check. Let me look over my notes real quick. Um, was Augustine? Augustine and like Orlando. We got Isaac. We got Isaac and Ross. They they've been producing. Augustine was somebody I usually liked. He was kind of a low owned guy that does produce. But Augustine, I completely off the map for me tonight same with isaac and same with uh ross their prices have just jumped up there after their recent production and i think they're just complete fates so that's just a couple other things i did notice now i'm just going to skip right over right to my algorithms and my uh projection averages tonight just because we're kind of running out of time i know you guys want to get some uh lineups in, in in and I don't want to take away from your time from doing that. So I'm just going to go over my algorithms. Let's go over the projected averages, see who's averaging the most, uh, the highest uh, point per dollar. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. We're going to go over uh, highest point per dollar. We're going to sort it, see who comes up as the highest. And here we go. God. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten guys right off the bat that are projected over six to, uh, six times value. That's Bazemore, DeLon Wright, Luke Cornett, Cody Zella, Collison, Ken Kennard, Paul Millsap, Batum, Dorian Finney Smith, and Dwight Powell. Uh and that, and then Teague is right there, five point ninety seven times value. Marv Williams right up there. Um, going all the way down to Wayne Ellington. Those guys are right around six times value. Now, let's go over and see, out of these guys, who, who's great? I've got a great cash algorithm value right there. All those guys are pretty skyrocketed. Another guy that's pretty down low is Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis looks like he actually is one of the higher guys in my cash algorithm um, due to some other stats, and he is projected at... 5.65 um, times value. So it's very close to 6x. He's playing in the highest over-under of the game. Uh, he's got a great matchup against Charlotte, who's, let's see how weak they are at his position. Um, Bobby Portis on this team, on the team that he plays for now, He's been playing the small forward a little bit more. And their DVP is 21 that he's facing tonight. So that's something that you might want that you might want to consider. Um, if anything. So that's some uh, something interesting. Now something someone brought up something yesterday to me that uh my live chat wasn't working. If you guys are viewing this right now, if would somebody be able to just send send a quick message on my chat? I just want to see if what I did did fix the issue where the live chat is actually up and running. I just want to I just want to check that out. Just because someone told me yesterday they tried to send a message and it didn't go through. Um, so that's just something I, I'm trying to make it so everyone can actually be active in this discussion when I do I know I'm just starting up I don't have many viewers at a time but I, once I do get some viewers up I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we can get a nice large group of people talking in here breaking down the slate today like I said I'm running a little late because of uh, because of some errands I had to run and But um, that's uh, that's something I just want to end up getting like the ball rolling on is the the chat because I, I think a lot of we can throw we all have great minds on DFS we all have different different types of plays and everything so I think that's something we can all b bounce back and forth is all plays some one guy may see something that stands out that another guy doesn't see that stands out so uh, I just uh I just sorted the sheet by my cash algorithm and the guy popping off at the top is Luke, Luke Kennett um, now he's projected at 6.20 um, times value um, let's check out 
the DVP that he's going up against <coughs> is ranked dead last in the league. Dead last in the league. Um, what's going on my computer here? I just got an error noise. One second, I just want to check that. All right, nothing. So, even even in a lot of stats, what they allow to the position, they allow the six most points points allowed to his position. They allow the second most points uh, uh, assist to that position. Um, they allow the most steals to, to his position. So he's he's in a good he's in a pretty good spot tonight. Um, so he's definitely someone you may want to consider throwing in your lineups. Um, also. The only thing that does make me throw it off now, I'm looking at this right here, as average value at today's dollar is, is lower than four. So that means he's basically not reaching, not reach, not really reaching value at what his price is tonight. But that's also going off of the cold cost of the year. He's at four grand. So technically his, his goal is going to be pretty much 24 points. Um, his minutes... That he is projected, he's projected to get an average of 31 minutes tonight. So 20, that's 24.81 DraftKing points that he's projected. So that that is six times value. So that's he could be a very good play. Um, I really like Bobby Portis, um, especially with, since this trade. Bobby Portis has been coming in clutch. Now, there's also one inactive guy that is on on the team where he's inactive. Uh, and that plays his position, so that's going to give him a bump in a minute. In minutes, I also have him as a fairly high uh, GPP algorithm, so that he may be even a very good play in GPP. So if you look look at these guys, um, even Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony Towns is he's pretty much one of the more expensive guys of the night. And he's in a great spot facing the Knicks, facing DeAndre Jordan. I had sent this picture in one of the chats earlier that I'm in uh, on their matchups. If you'd like, uh, I could have, could have just tried to pull up my phone, but I don't know where my phone is. My daughter must have taken it and watched the videos. Um, but I noticed that they kind of have uh, matchups kind of go back and forth. Like one game, DeAndre Jordan has a better game than Towns. Another next game, Towns has a better game. Uh, against Jordan than what Jordan did, so he's he's probably going to have some ownership. Except the only thing is, is he's questionable at the moment. I don't know if we're going to get that news. Uh, the time that he plays tonight, we're going to go check that. See if he they are playing at seven thirty tonight. So that's I'm, that's good. But are we going to get that news before lock? And it's at his salary. That's kind of tough to actually plug him in. If we don't know if he's definitely going to play or not, especially at his price. Uh, unless you want to end up plugging him in. And if we end up getting that news that he's out, find another guy that's pretty much around his price that has, that's in a pretty good place. You can do that as well. He's got a ceiling of 82 tonight. Next high ceiling, next another high ceiling is Jokic. Now, Jokic is per, roughly projected at 5.5 times value tonight. Um... Paul George has been absolutely crushing it. I'm trying to look for him and see what his ceiling's at. And seeing where he falls on the radar and everything. Anthony Davis is a complete fade. Drew Holiday is a complete fade. Um, got Russell Westbrook right here. Paul George right here. All right. Paul George, is, his ceiling tonight is 76. His floor is 33. Russell Westbrook's ceiling tonight is 77. Now, when I looked in the past on, if we look at the past performances versus opponent, Paul George put up 84 DraftKings points last game. Game bef Three games ago against his opponent, put up 61. And five games ago, he put up 49. So his average DraftKings points against his opponent over those five games is 64.81. Average DraftKings points per minute is 1.73. If I'm playing either one of them, I'm rolling George. George has been on a hot streak. I know we had a slow game a couple games ago, but George has just been playing MVP status this whole year. So I'd, I'd roll with um, Paul George over Westbrook tonight. 
Now, if you want, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go over here. If you want to end up taking a screenshot of this at the as the cash algorithm is uh, sorted that way, go ahead and then you can kind of go over it yourself. I'll even I, once I'm done, I'll give you guys a second to uh, scroll there. I mean, screenshot it, and I'm gonna scroll down, and then you can screenshot it again. I'll screenshot it again. Now I'll do the same exact thing over on the uh, GPP algorithm. I'll end up sorting that. Now what I did is, yeah, if you look, uh, I know there's nine games tonight, and you only see that there's, it doesn't look like there's nine teams, uh, 18 teams worth of players. What I did is before I started the stream is I ended up taking the uh, projected average over their minutes, and I sorted it so it's only showing guys that are projected over 15 minutes. I figure if there's guys that are projected less than 15 minutes, then there's not really a point in actually even seeing them. So I, I noticed there wasn't really anyone that has a crazy different bump or anything like that. So now it's actually sorted by the GPP algorithm. If you guys want to, if you guys want to sort through, screenshot that while it's sorted. And again, I'll give you a second, and then I'll end up scrolling down and do it again. Like I said, I was trying to make this a quick little video. I'm sorry I ran a little late today. Um, I would like to get a little bit more in depth with these as I go, but I had some issues to deal with uh, with uh, signing up for, for school. Once I once I get this all si signed up, I'm going to have it all day, every day, because I'm going to be doing online courses. Um, going into school for... Uh, data science and computer coding because my goal is I do want to end up uh, possibly making my own website in the probably in the not the near future but in the future maybe if I can end up developing my own algorithm or like a real like good algorithm for every single spot where I can make an optimizer for everything but that is my goal so that's like all I'm really gonna touch on today, cause I still gotta end up going and entering in my contests and figure out what my lineups I want. I am going to be taking screenshots of this and posting it on my page on Facebook. Um, if you want to check that out, that is just look up Chef Sheet. It's on there. I'll be posting the screenshots, and what I also will be doing is I will be running my optimizer that I have on this. We had, last night I actually ran a line and I didn't end up, uh, I ran a line on my optimizer and I didn't enter it. And I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass right now for not entering it because once I ended up looking at it today, that lineup would have scored about like 330 points. And I probably would have finished a, a fairly high in a couple GPP contests if I entered that. So um, I will be screenshotting the optimized line. I optimize lines off the highest projection off high max projection um max out the cash gpp uh, algorithm and uh, i also run it off the gpp algorithm so you guys can end up using that use this as your player pool um also if you want to end up uh private messaging me on my chef she page uh, on facebook you can more than likely do that i know a lot of guys that do watch the stream i do talk to you guys within a couple of facebook uh on a um, Facebook group chat and want to shoot me a message through there and on my main Facebook page. Um, I'm all glad to answer any questions and discuss this out. Um, but other than that, um, that I'm going to end the stream today. I'm going to try to get it a little. I'm going to try to get it set up a lot sooner for tomorrow, where we can maybe even discuss things and maybe I can even try to go live a couple times throughout the day and go through actual changes and stuff. But other than that, good luck, guys. I hope you guys win get in the green tonight, win some money, and let's take down these shocks. All right.